Today I'm going to show you how to set up a social media calendar in your Google Drive using Google Sheets. So for this, I'm going to share my screen with you and you'll be able to see from the beginning to the end exactly how it's made. This is something that I get asked about all the time and I actually did a story about it and you guys said that you wanted to see it. So I'll show you how I do it. I use this for myself. I use this for my clients as well. And it is just a really good way to map out everything that you need to do so that you can see exactly how much content you need every single month. And it's nice to plan ahead as well. So what I'll do with my clients when I use them is that I'll map out how many posts they want what content categories they are, then we'll go and see if they have any specific marketing dates. So if they have any promotions or anything specific that they want to discuss, like if they have an event or a sale or anything like that, I'll add it in there so that I make sure that I don't, so that I don't miss any content that needs to be produced that month. And when you do it like that, it's so much less stressful because you can visualize how much needs to be done rather than just thinking, oh my God, what am I going to post? And it just gives you too much anxiety. So this is a really good way to do it. Most big companies also will have some sort of social media, massive marketing calendar. This is just specific for social media and it's just a really basic one. You can make ones that are a lot more complex and I do have ones like that, but this is just real basic, real easy to use. And I'm going to show you how to do it. So the first thing you're going to have to do is open up your Google Drive and select new and you want to select to create a new Google Sheets. So here is an example of a template that I have created and the reason why I create it in Google Sheets is so that you can easily share it with your client or if you have other people, other members on your team, then you can all access it, you can all edit it, you can put in different projects that you're working on, you can easily duplicate it. It's just really easy to manage if it's all in Google Drive. So it's up in the cloud, you can access it on your phone, you can access it on your computer, anywhere. So down the bottom, I usually put the months and then at the top, I'll have the date. And this one, I'm not gonna put the actual days of the week in yet, just so that you can easily duplicate it. Then I would put in the actual date. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then going down, four weeks. Then on the side here, I would put what platforms you're using. So if you're going to do Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all of those, and then your content categories, and you can go into more detail about these as on these as well. Then once you have this all set up, you can go through and put in any promotional dates or any dates that you know that there is something happening, something on. You can even put in any leave dates in there as well, but I would color code them so that they all represent something else. So down the side here, you can also put a key, you can put the colors in, so you can say this content, captions, promotions, all of those, kind of, all of those sorts of things. So then you would go to set it up from scratch. So I'm gonna show you a blank one. All you have to do is keep one of the tabs completely blank so that you can fill all of those dates, content categories, etc., in there. And then you're gonna select one whole row and I'm gonna go down to 60. And then you just create a border and it's as easy as that and then I'll just go along every second one and once you create the first calendar have that saved as a template so don't fill it out completely so that you can easily duplicate it as many times as you need and once you have the first template set up perfectly then it's just so easy to have that save it as a blank one so that you can always come back to it um, every year or if you're a social media manager yourself so that you can just duplicate it for every single client makes your life so much easier once you have all of these templates set up. 
it's actually very, very simple. I think sometimes you just need to actually see it, see how it looks and then you can create one. You can easily create one in Canva or any other tool like that if you want to make it look pretty, but this is probably the most functional one. So then we're going to go down 10. So now you have a whole month, then I just go through and I select all borders for these little numbers and then I like to highlight them different colours as well. Um, if there is an event or something specific that you need then it can stand out and there are so many different ways you can do it but this is just how I've done it and then like I said once you create the first template you probably will never have to do this again. So setting it up correctly the first time has a lot of value and there's probably an easier way you can do this or a much faster way so then yeah we have the date we have platforms so you would put I usually would put plan only there first or whatever scheduling tool you put plan only and then you can actually hyperlink that to Planoly so you can click straight away. And then you have your categories. So if you want to do educational posts, entertaining, storytelling, behind the scenes. Promotional and then invitational is when you would put a call to action. So CTA. Now you can also put in emails. So let's just say I'm going to post a YouTube video every single Wednesday. So I'll find which days of the week that is those are for that month and I will say let's say it's the third so here YouTube video YouTube goes live so you can see how they all start tying in together so once you plan out one major bit of content you can put you can plan out what are you going to post before what are you going to post after so that they all tie in together and that way you're repurposing your content so you're not thinking of something new to post every single day as well so after I, I would, the day before, I would post a story that there's a new YouTube video coming. I would do an Instagram post as well. If you ever want to know how to set, set up your social media calendar, then here are some tips. And if you want to go ahead and watch it, there's a new YouTube video going up tomorrow about it. Then on that day, I would do a swipe up and show a little snippet of the video. Then that night or that morning, whenever I choose to post it, it will be about the YouTube video. Then on the story I'll say, hey, have you checked out the YouTube video? What did you think? Was that helpful to try to get people more engaged? And not everyone watches your stories every single day. So you want to make sure that you are maximizing that content as much as possible. So you want as many people to come back to your main source of content as possible. Then if I find that that YouTube video is in fact doing really well, that means it's got a lot of value, I would maybe send that out to my mailing list as well and say, hey, um, this is how I set up my social media calendar. If you want to have a look, then check out my latest video. So that is it. It's very, very basic, really easy to set up. And then in here you can put your content categories as well. So for my clients, I would usually go through and say, okay, today you're going to do an educational post. Tomorrow is going to be entertaining. The day after is going to be a story. Then once a week, you're going to do a promo. And you're going to do maybe another educational post because that gives the most value. So if you're doing five posts a week then making sure that, that those also tie back into any other content that you're doing. If you're just doing Instagram, then this is all you'll need to focus on. But if you're doing say YouTube, podcasting, Instagram, and you want to also share onto Facebook, it's really good to plan it out. 
if you're doing say quote square graphics and you know that once a week you're going to do a quote square so we're going to do every friday we're going to do a graphics quote square Now you know for that whole month you need to create four quote squares total instead of thinking oh my gosh I have to do this all the time I don't know what to post you know that you just need four created for that one month and all of a sudden it just becomes like it becomes a lot less work because you say okay for this month what are we going to focus on what kind of quote squares am I going to create what's done really well in the past and then you can go and create just those four for that month and you can use canva for that and if you do want to know then i can link my how to use canva tutorial here as well for you guys to go check out but that is essentially how you do it there are other ways that you can do it as well but this is the most basic easiest way and the most effective if you have multiple people working on the same project this will literally make your life so much easier. And then if you do end up bringing on someone to help you with your social media, it's really easy to share it with them if it's in the Google Drive in Sheets, because that way you can edit it, they can edit it, they can be on the other side of the world. So that's my number one tip, so have it in there. If you did like this video, then please give it a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and make sure that you hit the little bell next to it so that you get a notification every time I post a new video. Bye. Before I go, I just wanted to let you guys know the last three videos, including this one, I have filmed on my iPhone 11 Max Pro. I just wanted to test it out and see what the cameras were like, what the volume was like. I haven't plugged my mic in because Bart has taken it somewhere, but I feel like it's done such a good job. And obviously I've got really big window behind me so there's lots of light coming onto me but i'm really happy with it so if you do like it then let me know because i feel like our big camera might be redundant now <laughs> anyway bye <laughs>